Science is not about criticizing. Science is about explaining. Physics is about explaining phenomena, me mechanisms. Uh, you have to explain causes. And you can only explain causes if you have physical objects. Okay? So that's the starting point, at least from my point of view. Um, is science just criticizing? Well, no. In fact, uh, I had a discussion some time back with a fellow, and uh, he said, you know, I don't need to tell you my theory. I can just rationally, logically debunk yours. You know, I can show that yours falls because it lacks merits or rationality or logic or whatever. I don't need to show you my cards. No, that doesn't occur in science. That might be true in a card game. You know, some card games, you don't have to show your cards. You can just go to the deck. Not in science. Science, you have a conference. And a conference is a dialogue or a trialogue or a multilogue. Everybody who comes in there has to present his case. Okay? Now, why is that? Well, imagine a guy comes to the conference. He says, well, I just came here to uh, criticize your theory. That's all I want to do. And then I, I leave. Well, there's a couple problems with that. The first one is that, obviously, even if he's successful, right, um, he's already got a different way of thinking. The fact that he's criticizing my theory, right, or your theory for that matter, means that he's got a different way of thinking. So why won't he present his theory? Is he afraid that people will laugh at his theory or uh, think of it even worse than the one he's criticizing? I mean, he could criticize a point. And he might win that point, say, okay, we didn't think about that, you're right, uh, it's, it fails here, or we, we can't answer it yet. That could be true. The rest of the theory could be okay, for all we care. What do you have to propose in exchange? And the guy says, well, no, I'm not going to tell you my theory. I, I don't have to. And that doesn't occur in science. And the reason is that the doors are locked of the conference room. They're locked. Nobody can get out. We can't get out until we fix the problem of the universe. We need to figure out how the universe works. And so if my theory or your theory doesn't work, this guy can't come in there and say, I'm just, I just came here to criticize. No, no way. You debunked our theories, great. Ours are destroyed. They're no good. What do you have to propose? How does the universe work? And you can't say, oh, I'm not going to tell you my theory. I just want to leave. No, <laughs> not in science. So yeah, science is not about criticizing. Science is about proposing. It's about explaining how the universe works. Uh, in the case of physics, right? Because... As I put science, we have two branches. One is philosophy, the other one's physics. Philosophy deals with concepts, purpose, and reason. Why someone did something. Why did Napoleon go to Waterloo? That's a scientific question. And people, uh, you know, throw theories. You can say they're opinions. Yeah, they're opinions, but they're theories. One guy says he went there to steal. The other guy says he wanted glory. You know, so everybody's got his own theory. And that's scientific because they're giving you an explanation for why Napoleon went to Waterloo. Physics deals with uh, causes, mechanisms. And obviously, in order to explain it, you have to mediate them with objects, okay? And uh, so science is about explaining, and we can't leave the conference room until we explain how the universe works.